Ah, CNN, the world's leading anti-Trump network on TV, has struck again, people, with more fake news, more bullshit. Here's the latest bullshit. After Trump explained that he listens to the experts, right after the White House briefing was over, Immediately, CNN ignored everything Trump just said and had the headlines on the bottom of the screen. Trump to reopen the country May 1st against the advice of the experts. Really? President Trump never fucking said that. The words out of his mouth were never, quote, I am going to reopen the country against all the recommendations from the experts, close quote. He never fucking said that. Oh my God, CNN is such bullshit. They don't hear anything in these briefings. If it makes the president look good, it goes in one ear and out the fucking other. They make up their own truth. They hear what they want to hear. And then they report some wild shit that he never even fucking said. <laughs> right, after, right after the briefing, where he just got through explaining everything in fucking detail. And they still want to make up their own bullshit. <coughs> he explained. He listens to the experts. The ones he is, he's going to be listening to are the experts. Number two on the fake news. Trump never said, quote, it is going to reopen May 1st. This is a guarantee. It is going to happen. Come hell or high water. Trump never said it's going to open May 1st. He wants it to open by then. It is a goal that the government is shooting for. But it is not a guarantee. CNN reports as though it is a guarantee. His mind's already made up and Trump has stated it is going to reopen May 1st. Guaranteed. Again. Trump never said that. They're just picking dates to shoot for. First it was Easter, then he changed his mind, and now the goal is May 1st. It is only a date to shoot for, meaning when that day comes, we're going to see how the United States is doing right now. That's all it means. May 1st has never been a written in stone guarantee. But to listen to CNN report it, Trump has stated he's going to do as he damn well pleases against what everybody says. And May 1st is the guaranteed date. It is unmovable. It's going to happen. Hell itself cannot stop it from happening. Heaven itself cannot stop it from happening. It is going to happen. That's how CNN is reporting it. False, 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 fake news. <laughs> it is only a date selected to see how things are doing. That's when he would like to start reopening it. Not a guarantee. CNN is reporting it like it's a guarantee. And again, Trump never said he's going to do it against what all the doctors are saying. Those words never left his lips. CNN makes a whole sentence that Trump never said, shoves it down his throat, and then reporting it as though they were actually quoting him. When he never said anything that CNN was plastering on the bottom of their screen. You see, they're into sensationalism. CNN doesn't give a flying fuck about facts. They can care less about news. They want to report juicy, sensationalist headlines so people go, oh my god, look at that, because it draws in the crowd. They want to be entertaining like a 
like a fucking Hollywood movie. Oh, Trump said this and Trump said that and put all these juicy things all over the screen because they're sensationalists. They're not reporters. They're sensationalists. And news doesn't interest them. Facts doesn't interest them. Sensationalism and bullshit interest them. Because they want ratings. They want to be entertainment instead of actual news. Instead of reporting facts. Instead of reporting Trump in context. The second part to their fake news is that Trump had already explained in detail, which they ignore because they want to just go off and report shit out of their fucking imagination, whatever looks good and juicy to draw people in for ratings. Trump explained in detail that when it does happen, whenever it is, the entire country is not going to open up all at once. To hear CNN report the entire country all at once, boom, like a light switch being flipped, is just going to go back to the way it was. This is what Trump wants. Trump never fucking said that. What did he say, CNN? What did he say? Hello, is anybody home? Hello, anybody home at all? You fucking asinine reporters. Is there anything between your ears besides bullshit? Probably not. Trump explained in detail when it does happen. It's going to be lightly, sections at a time, starting with the small sections of the country that have had almost no cases Hardly any deaths, maybe one or two deaths, you know. It's going to be sections that are not being hard hit. It's not going to be New York, Chicago, and Louisiana, all these places that are being the hardest hit. It's not going to be them. He's not going to open up the entire country all at once. But to hear CNN talk, this is what they say Trump said. He, he never said that. CNN reports it as though the second May 1st hits, not only is he going to go against every doctor on the earth and what he's saying, which is bullshit, he's going to open up the entire country all at once, boom, like a light switch. CNN even said, oh, that's ridiculous. You can't just open everything up like a light switch being flipped. Well, of course you can't, you dumb fucking asses of CNN, because Trump never said that. He never said he's going to flip a flip a damn switch, and the entire country is going to open up. Trump never said any of this fucking bullshit. It's going to be small sections at a time, and as time goes on, as the worst areas start to get better, they will start to slowly catch up and slowly start to open. It's going to be slowly. It's going to be one step at a time. Trump explained this in detail over and over and over and over ad infinitum ad nauseum. But CNN goes off and reports their own thing right after the White House briefing is over like he never said a fucking word and just reports their own truth. They report what they want Trump to have said because they don't like the president. I mean, this is no secret. CNN is pro-Democrat. They hate Donald Trump. They've hated him from the very beginning because their precious Hillary didn't get in office. And ever since then, it's been hate, 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 hate. Attack, blame, ridicule, twist words, add words, do whatever they can to rip Trump a new asshole. Ever since 2016. They don't want to report the news. They want to report and make up shit that makes him look bad. Anything to make him look bad and to rip him a new asshole. Because they don't like Republicans and they really don't like Trump. It is the most hateful, fake, sensationalist, disgusting news media we have on television. <clears throat> 
the entire country is not going to open up all at once. So CNN needs to stop reporting their bullshit. Trump never said that. It's going to be one small step at a time over quite a length of time. Slowly but surely, one piece at a time. Trump never stood up, up to the podium and said, you know what, like a light switch on May 1st, boom, every place in the entire country, I'm going to reopen, it's going to be just like it was before, like nothing ever happened. But according to CNN, this is what he said. This is what Trump wants. And this is absolutely 100% fake fucking news. <coughs> Now, for all you CNN lovers out there who must love bullshit if you love CNN, and all the CNN anchors, I want to wake you up to reality. Common sense. We cannot leave this country closed indefinitely. If you left it up to the doctors and the news anchor <coughs> people at CNN, the entire country would be shut down for the next year or two years. We cannot do this. Like Trump said, the solution cannot be bigger than the original problem. It cannot create another problem 20 times bigger than the original problem you were trying to solve. And that's exactly what would happen if we leave this country closed. You think the coronavirus is bad? You people out there haven't seen nothing yet as to what would happen if we left this country closed too long. If you keep it closed too long, guess what? Eventually, the bottom of the stock market will drop completely out and the banks will fail. When the banks fail, guess what, you CNN lovers? No more fucking food! Because... Walmart and every grocery store chain in this country will now close their doors and be out of business. Where are you going to find food now, you CNN fucking lovers? On the ground, are you going to eat dirt and ants in the woods? Are you going to eat bark off of trees? Are you going to eat your own dick? Where are you going to eat? If the banks fail... Every business in this entire country is out of business permanently because all your grocery stores, every business has money in the bank. Hello, hello. If the banks fail, the businesses go out of business. All your food chains, Walmart, everywhere. Everybody closes their doors. Now you got 300 and some odd million people in this country who are going to face starvation because there's no food. It would be absolute chaos in the streets. People killing each other. You ain't seen nothing yet. It would be like hell has surfaced on earth. There would be crime. People killing each other. There would be chaos. There would be people breaking into other people's homes. And every housing tract nationwide. For one thing, food. And you ain't going to stop them. They'd say, you have food and we don't. If you try to stop us, we'll blow your fucking head off. People just coming into everybody's homes everywhere. Because they would be desperate. Nowhere else to get food. So they're going to be striking other people's place of residences. <laughs> it will be absolute hell on earth anarchy. It'll be like revelations from the Bible unfolding. Now that it's not the coronavirus you're going to have to worry about. That's going to be a small problem. Now you're going to have to worry about an actual apocalypse. The entire country would be destroyed. So yeah, let's just destroy the entire fucking country, starve 350 million people to fucking death, cause anarchy and apocalyptic Scenes all over the streets of America just so we can say, well, we, we curbed the virus. We flattened the curve a little bit more. Oh, bullshit. You people out there need to wake the fuck up. 
The government doesn't have the fucking money to keep paying people to stay home month after month after month after month after fucking month. It's not an endless pit of money, people. Hello? Wake up! Hello? Wake up! Two trillion dollars was spent just to get people by, and it only gets some of the people by, not everybody, barely for a month. That's it. And people are still hitting food banks after the stimulus. It barely gets some people by for a month. $1,200, that's a fucking joke. That doesn't even cover some people's mortgage for a month. Which means even $2 trillion wasn't enough. And that's just to try to ease people for a month. You Imagine trying to do this for a year straight. Keeping this closed for a year or longer. Like the dumbass doctors and fucking news anchors would like to do. If it was up to them. That means trying to pay everybody's way for a fucking month. What do you think is going to happen when the landlords stop receiving rent after so long? This rule they put into place, you know, where the landlords can't throw people out right now, currently, because of the virus. That can't go on forever, people. The landlord has people he has to pay. Now, the landlord goes out of business. The apartment complex folds. Now, what are you going to do? Now, everybody's out in the damn street. <clears throat> you can't keep paying people's way forever. Landlords can't keep allowing people to just skip out on their bills because of the virus forever. Uh, month after month after month after month. All of this shit cannot continue, people. It cannot continue. It's going to reach a breaking point and the shit's going to hit the fan. And then everybody's going to be out in the fucking streets and the government's going to be broke. The banks are going to fail and all the food chains are going to close their doors. Now you have awoken the apocalypse from the Bible. Maybe that would satisfy the news anchors. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Bring about the second return of Christ by creating a fucking apocalypse. <laughs> Because that's what you would do if you kept this country closed down for even another six months. It cannot be done. Like Trump said, this country was made not to be shut down, but to move. Things need to be moving. Money needs to be flowing. People need to be working. They need to be receiving paychecks. People just can't be getting grace from their landlords month after month after month after month because they have people that the landlord has to pay. And they have people they have to pay. It's a snowball effect, people. Go down the chain. Follow the chain. It's common sense. If it continued for much longer, everybody would be broke. The apartment complexes would fold. You'd be out on your ass. The landlords just can't keep letting people slide every month on their bills just because of the virus, like they're told to do right now. It can't go on forever. This can't go on, people. It can't go on for no damn six months. And like I just said also, which I repeat, the government also cannot keep paying everybody's fucking way, every living, breathing body in this country, every fucking business in this country, they can't keep paying for it all. Week after week and month after month and ad infinitum at bloody nauseum. The government is not an endless pit of money. They have a certain amount and when they go broke, that's it. Then what's going to happen when the government's broke and everything's shut down in the country? Now we're really in a fucking apocalypse. It cannot happen. You cannot leave the country shut down. But these people don't fucking realize this shit. You can't do it. The stock market's fine for a while. The banks are fine for a little while. Couple months, three months, whatever. Four months. You continue this shit. And the stock market goes down and down and down. It keeps going down. Pretty soon you reach the floor. You reach the bottom. Then when the bottom drops out, the banks fail. What do you people think happened in 1929? 
The banks failed because the bottom of the stock market dropped completely out. There were no more points left to drop. All the points, gone. You know, the stock market only has so many points, you dumbasses out there who want to leave this country closed. It only has so many points. You lose all of them, and the bottom drops out. That's what happened in 1929. The bottom dropped out. When that happens, the banks fail. When the banks fail, the grocery stores close. Walmart closes. Every place that you buy your food, gone. Every business, literally, closes. Now what are you going to do, you damn CNN lovers who want to keep this shit closed? Where are you going to buy your food? What, are you going to eat your own shit out of the toilet? <laughs> I mean, people don't use fucking common sense here. Ah, duh. The stock market only has a certain number of points, people. You can't just keep losing 500 and 1,000 points every fucking day of the week. Week after week after week after week. There'll be no more points left. You can only lose so much. It has a limit, you dumbasses. When all the points are gone, your banks fail. Then you're really going to have a problem. Now coronavirus is not going to be your problem. That's not even going to be a concern anymore. Now you have revelations from the Bible taking place. But you see, these anchors at CNN, they're too stupid ass to realize. Trump realizes it. He knows the danger. He knows what can happen. He knows that the banks would eventually fail and what happens after that. It snowballs until there is hell on earth. Trump knows this. The stupid asses at CNN don't know this. All they know is they want juicy ratings. They want to rip the president a new asshole. That's all they know. They have no common sense. They don't think ahead down the line. They don't look at the snowball, the chain effect that would happen by keeping everything closed. They don't look at anything. All they know is what they want. Well, we should keep it closed. We should keep it closed. We should keep it closed. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Keep it closed. And then when the stock market finally loses all its points and all the banks fail, ask yourself this question. Where am I going to buy food now? Now that all the grocery stores are closed, now that there is fucking chaos and anarchy, well, you better have a weapon because now somebody is going to be breaking into your house, stealing your food. I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready and prepared for fucking Armageddon. Good day.